point to you, um, based on the experience that you have gathered um, using this logic, what could be the potential weakness that you are aware of uh, that this logic might fail and you have possibly found a solution for it? Yeah. And what do you think is the actual benefit of having a business model of this kind? Okay, let's go to mythology and I'll tell you, uh, I'm not doing something new. While coming in the train, I was trying to explain her. Our, our Hindu dharma says, uh, do good karma and then never look for, you know, uh, this is what uh, Arjun uh, Sri Krishna told Arjun, right? So you just do your karma, good karma, and, and, and the result will come. There's one book which changed my life. That's called Inbound Marketing yeah. by HubSpot Dharmeshit. That book, because I'm very shy of looking for business. I don't ask, I, it's very uncomfortable. I'm not a businessman. So uh, it, feel, it makes me very uncomfortable. So when I started my consulting, I was thinking, why will I get business? Because I can't tell my friends and my colleagues, uh, can I come and pitch? So this content marketing helped me to get attracted every day. This is the crux of inbound marketing. So if you search me on my content, you will find at least 10 pages full of my content. Tell me, pick up any content randomly, 100 contents, and tell me in each content, anywhere else I've mentioned, these are my surveys, this is what I do, I, I help people, can you come and these are the 20 services I'm good at. I don't sell myself. Zero. All my content is a giver. So, this dharma or inbound marketing is of a giver. If you are a giver, you win. It doesn't fail. Otherwise, we would have never be following Sri Krishna's or Mahabharata. We would have thrown them out. Inbound marketing is all about giving and creating and helping. It works reversely. Universe get back to you. Universe reward you. Same thing, client is looking at you for last one year, two years, seeing your content, and they say, okay, this is the guy we need. He can solve our problem because he is not looking at my pocket. Mm. Business looks at your pocket. Mm. I don't look at your pocket. So I look at your holistic because I can solve the problem. That's it. The moment you give, when the moment you're a giver, the moment you're giving content, educating people, it will never fail. So I have no problem. So I will never pitch ever in my life. I will never hire people who come to me. I will always get found. And it's not that I can do that. You can also do that. One is that um, you mentioned that you don't have a single salesman in your in your company. Yeah. So um, um, because we don't need a big business development person. So I don't have to speak. Uh, we don't do any con calls. No, nothing. Uh, we just do content. And we will never have a salesman ever in my life. Because speaks for yourself, that is why you don't have a... Yeah, why do... I, okay, hold on. If you go, if I open my LinkedIn, mm -hmm. if I open my social media, each of my blogs mm -hmm. gets viewed by average of 7,000 in three days. Okay. So I have 7,000 salesmen, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why do yeah. I need a physical one? So that, is that the reason that you don't have anything on your business card also? Just the have you seen my business card? Yeah. No. Online, yeah. Can we but see? Yeah, that's something that uh, yeah, that's something that you also mentioned specifically. Yeah. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it has I'll, no I'll, I'll, number I'll, because no phone, no email, nothing. Yeah, yeah. If you search my name, not the first, not the full word. Oh, yeah, we read just the initials of your word and yeah. the, the Google. So Google find me 0 0.46 seconds. Yes. Zero point four six seconds. Mm -hmm. Do I need a number? Yeah. Do one thing. You type your name and see whether Google will fail, figure out. Google will not figure out. Mm -hmm. So why do I need a salesman if I get found? Mm -hmm. So I don't need a number, and I don't want people to come to me because I will not work with many people. Mm -hmm. I prefer the reason the fees is higher. I prefer to work with very selective. Mm -hmm. I only want to do heart surgery. I'm not putting band aid. So I don't need many people. That's my that's my way of it. Nothing wrong in it. So people who are doing small job, it's not that they are demeaning or they're bad. This is my way of my wish. So that's how I work. So this is how it works. But you did mention that if somebody can pay you fifty lakh, then you will take up him as your client. But somebody who cannot pay you, I give him a free advice. You two things, yeah, free yes. advice for a, for half an half an hour session. Today morning, someone called me. I give him a advice. That's it. See. It has to be either my fees, because when you pay my fees, you are professionally engaging. If you can't, I give you free advice. That is what you should do. 
Because the most precious thing which I can give or I can trade is my time. Hmm. My time, right? It doesn't come back, it's costly. It is so costly. So I, why will I give you? And many a time, even if you give advice, people don't listen. Yeah. Right? And if it is free, also they don't listen. The moment you pay me, you will listen to me. So this is how, this is my theory or my way of working. I am not saying this is right or wrong or it, it works for other people. It works for me. So that's it. I wanted to ask that, is there any breakup for the fees that you ask for? Uh, like it's a huge amount. Uh, obviously, I'm not... By the way, I'm increasing uh, my fees. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. so, Even more than 70 lakhs, close to a crore. Okay, you quoted us 45 lakhs, I suppose. Yeah, now it's gone to 50, now across 50 crores, 2019 March. Now it is going to be close to a crore. So if a startup has to picture you up... Uh, I, I like, help startup. I yeah. mentor startup. I give advice. Uh, I'll tell you why the fees are important uh, and why it is growing. My people are growing. The most important thing which I learned in my life is not the machine. It's my people. I take care of my people. So it's not a question of one crore or a five lakhs or a two lakhs. It's a question that is that I give enormous value. So if your business size, imagine, I'll tell you a, a simple math how people work and the mentality. So I wanted to have a filter. People get down from BMW and they try to negotiate with a small time vendor. Yeah. Why you are charging me uh, 20 rupees for one pow of uh, banana or potato, right? Yeah. People negotiate. So my all my life I was told that client is God. Client is God, so whatever client says, you have to say yes. I wrote a blog on this. If client is God, I am an atheist. I don't believe God. I believe, but if you behave like a God, then I am an atheist. So what I realize is that filtration is very important. If I am giving value, enormous value, you have to pay for it. Nothing comes free. Right? So how many years have been studying? 15 years, starting from nursery. So when was the last time you went to school and say, okay, now give my money back? You paid all those 15 years, right? Yeah. Because you got enormous value. Yeah. So you will go to a school, pay for your knowledge. Mm. But when you will come to me, I'm also giving you knowledge. So I need fees. So yes. that's how it works. So what I mean to tell you is that, I, being a businessman, I've, I've done few crore. And I don't think that's a parameter to be known as a businessman. I know one thing which businessman cannot have or most of the businessmen don't have. I still don't know how to earn money but I know how to earn respect. I work for respect. All those people who come to me if I sense that he will not respect me I don't take the job. There are enormous SMS I can show you. There are places company wanted to pay me more than I quoted. I have not taken the job because I know they will not believe or they will not trust there will be a problem once I take the account so I've rejected so that's how I work that's my philosophy it doesn't it necessarily do not mean that everybody to follow it works for me